Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Here's um, another video of one of my car boot cell finds. Um, this little item here did appear in my um, overall video showing what I purchased uh, this week. Um, however, I did say to you I was going to do a video just on this piece. Um, I feel it's a beautiful uh, item. Um, so it deserves a video on its own to do it justice. I, what I'm going to actually do in this video, I'm going to give you a little close up of the item, a um, little talk about it, then you're actually going to see me do a bit of research on it. I haven't done the research yet, um, so you're going to see me do the research on the um, on the piece, and we'll see what we come up with. Um, as I said to you, I felt it was worth £100-£150, um, just as a decorative piece. That's the item in question. I'm going to give you um, a close-up now. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of uh, silver, limited edition run. So, yeah, I'll give you a little look now, guys, and then we'll do some research together. Okay, guys, so here we go. Here's the um, piece in question now. What we have is a beautiful embossed solid silver plaque has the image of a thoroughbred racehorse uh, impressed. It's beautifully mounted in this two-tone uh, wooden frame. If we uh, zoom in here, you'll see it's number 269 of only 999 ever made. Um, the name is Ottavani. Now I've had this um, designer before, but in boxes. I've never had a plaque by him before. Obviously, uh, Cavalli the fourth. Um, obviously means it's uh, a line of thoroughbreds, and this horse is obviously number four in the line. Um, for it to have been put into a plaque of this type, then this horse would have had to have won some serious races, or come from. Uh, a very very wealthy and well uh, what's the word I'm looking for a well proven line then um, it wouldn't have been done for any other reason we turn the uh, frame over here we have a wax seal um, which is a studio so it's actually been for sale in a studio. Um, what's it say? Citavan. So it, basically, this is an Italian studio seal. Um, and then, of course, we have the other plaque here. So this has been sold through an art gallery. Um, looking at it, you can understand why it is beautiful. Now anyone into um, equestrian, horse racing, anything would love to have this on a wall. Everybody buys prints of Red Rum and Desert Orchid and all the other big names. Um, obviously this is going to be up there and being a limited run of only a thousand uh, means there ain't going to be many around. You take into account how many have been scrapped and how many were damaged. How many are in private collections, there's probably but a handful of these available. So we'll do some research now guys and we'll see where we uh, we get to. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're going to um, Okay guys, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to run a Google search, see if we can find anything on the uh, racehorse first. So. No, no. 
Looking by here already, this looks like it's a USA racehorse from, no that can't be right, because that's 2007 and the plaque was made in 1979, so, so in 1979, see what we come up with. Ah. There's images of uh, the horse, so let's go back, list of thoroughbred race horses, Wikipedia, what we're looking for is Cavalli, it'd help if this was alphabeticalized, that's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Some uh, familiar names on this page. All right, well, we'll go back. And can I find anything? Not really. I don't want that. Cavalli Resource. And what have we got? Oh, Cavalli. Let's have a look at this. Now again, 2017. Seven. Yeah. Well, this is saying that that it means that, but uh, it's obviously uh, not that engraved onto the plaque. On the plaque, it certainly doesn't have the NI at the end. Okay, so obviously now it's going to take a while to find the um, the family line or the bloodline of the horse. So now we'll we'll leave that in a minute because I'll uh, I'll obviously have to do research into that. That's going to take a lot longer than this just to get the bloodline of the horse, find out where it raced and everything else. And obviously, depending on what it won, or where it was, where it ran in the world, if it was in America or if it was in the UK, then obviously that's going to affect the price. Um, how to run here. So now we have the designer. So we've searched for Ottavani Sterling Silver, which is basically what we have here. Now we come here, first page. What do we have here? Let's go and have a look see. We have a vintage Ottavani still in silver enamel wall sculpture, Italy. That's exactly what we got. However, we don't have the enamels on ours. They're asking 545, but is a limited edition? Doesn't actually say, so I'll look at the photos. No, theirs isn't limited edition, theirs is simple, however many they made. And they're asking 540. What else we got there, what's that? That's a box. The boxes don't pull the same money. What we got here, let's have a look here. Set the page. Ottavani's in again jewellery box, but that's two hundred and fifty pounds or one hundred and ninety three pounds, sorry, with the uh, take off the exchange rate. That's on eBay, so we'll have a look on eBay next. <coughs> Any more on you now? That's quite nice, what's that? 
Mention your money to angels. Let's have a look how much that is. Page not found. Typical. Obviously, it's no longer there. That's the box we just saw. Obviously, it's a very small box. Uh, okay, so I tell you what, let's have a little look now. We'll go on to eBay. Advanced search. So I've typed in Ottavani Sterling. I want to know completed items. I want to see what people have sold it for. Um, we just will avoid all the crap and the pound items and go highest first. Let's see what we got. So we just seen that one on the, on Google, 193 pounds. And but that's a big difference because they were asking five and a half hundred on Google. It's 179 on eBay. There is no others than no other pieces. So let's have a look. Let's take away the completed items and I will actually have a look what's actually for sale now. The same two plaques. There's a very pretty one religious uh, scene 150 and there's another box for 122 and that's it that's it so we ain't gonna find another of the uh, plaques I have here well guys as you can see um, it's one thing to know what something is is another to find um, a comparison for pricing now, the sale room is normally very good. The sale room gives you the auction prices sold throughout the country in any land auction, and it's real time. Um, obviously, there was none of these plaques sold through a land auction, so they're quite scarce. Um, so you then go onto Google, and we searched, and we found two other plaques, well, one box, one plaque, and they were up decent money. Um, and then of course we searched eBay and they were ranging a couple of hundred pound on eBay, one and a half, two hundred pound on eBay. Now the one with the enamelling I will give you is beautiful. However, the subject matter on mine with the thoroughbred racehorse um, really does far exceed the other two in my opinion. Um, Horse racing, thoroughbreds, when people pay a million pounds for one horse because of it's won a, a special race, a grand national winner, can be, be fortunes. If the horse is proven it's a, a good, strong bloodline, they'll pay fortunes. Now, if anybody collects pieces, memorabilia of horse racing or any thoroughbred collectors or any nice stables, or a nice you know race track anything would really appreciate to hang something like this on a wall and look amazing um, so what do I think it's worth now after having a little look I think it's worth about 200 pound in my opinion as I've already said to you it's limited edition it's Italian it's solid silver beautiful condition very light surface scratching uh, where somebody cleaned it before I owned it um, I've done a video on how to clean silver by the way, um, without doing them scratches. Uh, you'll find that in my videos. Um, but yeah, I think, um, you know, there's so many options. It could even be in a bookies. Anyway, there's so many places deal with horse racing and just thoroughbreds and horse breeding. Um, there's not many of these out there. There was a not even a thousand to begin with. 1979. I'm going to put them up for £195 and I'll be quite happy with that. So, through 
Process of elimination then on availability, on comparison prices on other plaques for sale and things like that is how I'm coming up with this price. And of course, how limited is my market? Now I feel the market for this will be quite strong. Um, there are many different potential buyers. It's not just one collecting field I'm, I'm aiming at. Um, so that will go on my website, it won't go onto eBay. It'll go onto my website, 195, and it doesn't matter how long it sits there. Um, on my website it'll go. I only put interesting and beautiful pieces on my website. The rest goes onto eBay. If it's work in stock, it's eBay. If it's something I think is beautiful or really nice, then it's the website. And um, this is a website piece, guys. Anyway, um, I could have dove in and spent hours and hours researching, trying to find the bloodline of the horse, but it doesn't really make for a good video. You get an idea of um, basically how I do my general searches and find comparison prices and things like that. Um, hope you found it interesting, guys. Um, I think that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and a share. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance, and of course, our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.